Shalom, this is Lars Enerson from Israel. I have Gaza in the background at the horizon here, reporting from the conflict, the war that is raging right now here in Israel. We prayed yesterday for a turnaround that we would see something begin to shift uh, when we fasted and prayed for Israel. And it is so evident that now things have changed. Finally, there is a unity government in Israel that uh, now will take the responsibility to uh, have this battle fought to the very end, to victory against Hamas. So this is a tremendous answer to prayer. And I want to encourage you to eagerly pray now for the three in the war cabinet that has been formed that will be responsible for the decisions that Israel will make. It's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, it is uh, Minister of Defense Yoav Galant, and it is the, one of the opposition leaders, Benny Gantz, a former Chief of Staff in Israel and a former also Minister of Defense. These three people, they are going to be mainly responsible for how God is going to give Israel the victory uh, because of the decisions that they will make. Pray that they will have great agreement between each other and that God will lead them to make the right decisions. That is a very, very important prayer topic right now. The second thing that I want to encourage you to pray for is that tomorrow, Friday, October 13, Hamas has encouraged now Muslims all over the world to take to the streets and do mayhem and show solidarity with Hamas in Gaza. Uh, they are encouraging uh, the Arabs, the Palestinians in Israel to take to the streets and begin to do violence, to attack soldiers and do terror attacks, etc., etc. Et Let's pray that the, the air is going to go out from this balloon of, of uh, threats against Israel, that nothing will come out of this. So, and that Israel will have the wisdom to deal with a possible uh, demonstrations in Israel that can turn very violent. So let's be watchful and prayer tomorrow, Friday, October 13, uh, to pray for this. Uh, secondly, I want to also, or thirdly, I should say, we need to watch in prayer for the Northern Front. Up till now, Hezbollah is not involved in the conflict in any major way, and th but they are very eager to join the battle against Israel. They are waiting for what they think is the right time, but this is under God's control when we pray, that they will not get involved until God gives them the permission to do so, if that is His will. Nevertheless, God is in control and we are going to pray for His will to be done. Now, I want to encourage you also to pray in line with the book of Esther. This is what Hamas and Hezbollah and Iran are doing, it's once again Haman out to annihilate the Jewish people. They are very vocal about this. And we are going to pray that through fasting and prayer, there will be this turnaround, this victory. You can read in chapter 8 what happened. Haman was destroyed and the Jewish people were given the green light to defend themselves against those rising up against them, planning to uh, destroy them and annihilate them, murder them. That is what uh, Hamas wants to do. That's what Hezbollah wants to do. It is the spirit of Haman, Haman, all over again. But through the intercession, like Esther, uh, we are going to be able to see a turnaround for God's purposes and God's glory in this conflict. Keep up the prayers continue to fast as God leads you. I believe that God is going to give us the victory. He is going to fulfill uh, the promises that he has made to Israel. And this conflict, this war is going to be turned around for God's glory as we are faithful as watchmen on the walls of Jerusalem. God bless you. Thank you so much for your prayers. Shalom from Israel.